If this gives you huge dopamine spikes as a bone spear necromancer in terms of essence generation on just one single target with only one single source of damage triggering exposed flesh, I have just the right update for you. I have updated the max roll guide for the super late game version for the bone spear necromancer in Diablo 4 season 3. As you can see here, we will always have the drop down menu on the max roll planner. This video is revolving around the late end game and the uber uniques because those have been changed. For the skill tree, we are getting rid of Acolyte's Bone Splinters because we are now running Blood Mist and no resource generator whatsoever. This requires you to have your lucky hit and your exposed flesh generation of essence in touch but i'll get to that during the gearing section a little bit more but it's very important to point out that we only need the two points here in bone splinters to further advance on the skill tree and it is really important that you make sure that you are going to be crit capped without the Echolites bone splinters for this you need 38 and a half percent crit chance on your character when you are in town by having 150 maximum essence and then all the time when you have your bone storm running which is permanent with Lilith's wall and the grasping veins of your uh, uh from your corpse tendrils you will be crit capped all of the time this way now obviously there are some calculations if you want to check it uh, way more in detail i would suggest you go back to the previous bone spear video you can see the calculation right there and that point goes directly into blood mist and that actually is it for the late end game version if you are so lucky and you are able to acquire a shako that changes a little bit because with the shako you are actually able to not spend a point in the blood mist and still get it which is an awesome thing to do and these points are going to be redistributed as you can see here the unliving energy goes to three out of three for example and we also get some inspiring leader then for the paragon board it's extremely important that you change it correctly to do this in a very easy way you go to the bone spear necromancer end game guide on max roll that will be linked down in the description below and when you go to chapter 4 end game progression uh, end game progression and variance and hit the late end game when you scroll down you can read up on all the changes that we're doing but way more important than that is the paragon board here if you maximize this and then you have a scroll bar down here at the bottom if you scroll down here in the bar or click that little arrow it is going to highlight all the changes that i have made for the super late end game version basically in this update and if you go back you can see it's going to go to its previous state and then you can also drag that thing around so you can see very easily which points you have to get rid of if it if that thing is on the right side as you can see that is the late end game version the other one is basically the previous one for the aspects and gearing section we did make some changes here the exploiters is now on the helmet slot and we are running the disobedience and the shielding storm on chest and pants respectively nothing else has really changed S still serration and uh, wind striker grasping veins splintering exposed flesh then the ring of the sacrilegious soul and a little wall standard stuff only big change occurs when you go to the uber uniques version and you are lucky enough to find a shako this means that you will not run the exploiters on the helmet anymore which is not really a big loss for the huge amount of damage and quality of life that you are getting from harlequin's crest everything here is exactly the same apart from the ring because we are going to get rid of the sacrilegious soul ring and you are going to run the starless skies together with ring of exposed flesh there have been some changes for the seneschal construct because the flash of adrenaline and tempest combo is the best in slot that you can run most of the time for tempest resource and breaking support are going to be locked in all of the time with swift support being a free for all you can change the swift support if you don't need the more resource that it's going to generate through the faster attack rate for the safeguard support to get 15% damage reduction permanently. For example, when you run T100 Nightmare Dungeons or if you are playing hardcore and want that tad little bit of more tankiness. And the Flash of Adrenaline, the Duration and Initiative support are going to be locked in here as well. And the third one is going to be the Flex spot where you can use the Fortify support. And then down here in the Uber Uniques version, you can see that the Flex spots have now been changed to the Unique Stone basically ever night on tempest which is going to give you plus four to support its skill 
almost all of the time because sometimes the Seneschal just runs around not attacking stuff. You will have downtime on this, but let's say maybe 50% of the time this is going to be up, so you're going to be good on here, which is probably the best spot that you can have. And way more important than that is the Genesis on the Flash of Adrenaline. This is a permanent 50% multiplier for your damage all of the time, permanently active. Absolute no-brainer to include this on every character. And if you also want to achieve this level of blaziness for your Bone Spear Necromancer, I have the video coming up for you where I explain the holy trifecta or basically unholy trifecta for Necro between your rotation, your Bone Spear placement and your gear where we go into great detail how you can easily achieve holding down right click and never dropping below 75% essence. And if you want to see this craziness unfold live, then I suggest you check out the Twitch, which is going to be linked down in the description below. And if you like content similar to this, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and I'll see you next time.